What you're for guys guns and today we're going to talk about I promise I'm not gonna say it a million times all the lumens the new m600 DF which is fancy numbers and letters for I have Sauron oh sorry <laughs> you were looking right at looking directly at the eye of Sauron is that bright? That flashlight just looked into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> the M600DF from Surefire is a brand spanking new kind of updated version of their Scout Light. It is the longer model and the DF actually stands for dual fuel. Dual fuel is pretty cool because if you're used to the traditional or if you have a subscription to CR123s like most of us do, um, you can stack two of them in here and it works just like every other Scout Light you know, the Surefire has made in the past. However, the new dual fuel works on something known as rechargeable? The 18650 is literally about the same size, if not exactly the same size as two CR123s. What's cool about it is you can pack a lot more punch into those batteries and you can recharge them. So, I mean, there's really a lot of cost savings there, especially when they include one battery and a fancy handy dandy little charger. What comes on the actual light itself is of course, you know, the clicky, clicky and tactical. So you can just press it or you can press and click it which is nice. At the price point, you know, I would kind of hope that it would come with a tape switch, but with the rest of the stuff that's coming with it and the reliability that comes with Surefire, we'll get to everyone who's about to just blast me in the comments in a second about, you know, oh, for Streamline Enforce. <laughs> it comes with a quick thumb screw, you know, cutie mount, which is nice. I, I do run that on a couple of them. Uh, this one I happen to switch over to an ADM, you know, throw lever, QD mount. If you have a preference, LaRue, things like that, go nuts. It should work on all of them, everyone makes lights for them. I do not believe this head will work on, you know, we can test the theory real quick actually. It doesn't even fit. Confirmed. Oops. Well, that settles that. The head does not confirm work on any of the other scouts. They do use a different thread pattern. And I'm sure even if you did have like an Arasaka defense or some, you know, sort of adapter tube, I don't think because of the demands of the actual LED, it's going to work on just about any of the other ones. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, if you know that it does work, by all means, put it in the comments and tell me where it does work. But this head is money. And you can see by the video that we shot in the DAC, by the way, it was wicked DAC. Um, <clears throat> it definitely throws light. I mean, quite literally, I have saw and I just blinded Jack. You know, we've, we've all had our share of magenta and green dots in the eyes for a bit now, sometimes just a dead spot, which is always fun. What we did was we compared the M300C, I believe it's the M300C, which is their smaller, you know, single 123 light, 500 lumens, to their Scout Ultra, which was like the big dog on campus before this one, and that one was a thousand lumens. And this one, 1500 lumens of face melting fury something to consider when you're talking you know up in the bigger numbers is not just kind of what it does uh, at point blank range but how far it can actually throw that and one of the reasons why i moved this one over to the longer gun that was made for longer things is because this throws light farther as you can see when we go outside when we put this thing on a wall that's you know two three hundred meters away we can still see more light out of this than we can out of the 1000 and definitely than we can out of the 500. however Something to keep in mind so that, you know, if you want to run around 1500 lumens in your house, that's cool. I, I don't think, you know, it's really geared for that, but it can do it. Knowing where your ceilings and walls is definitely helps. <clears throat> don't blind yourself. Personally, I kind of lean more towards the lower, you know, the 500, the 1000 even, uh, because they have a different spill, but that's for another time. Like, you know, in people who teach indoor gunfighting stuffs. You can see by the pattern on the wall, the kind of differences in the uh, beam shape, uh, you know, the hot spot, the spill, all the fun jazz and kind of pick the right thing for the right, to right you know, gun for what you're trying to do. If it's like a truck gun, if you're on the middle of the country, if you're, you know, just in your house, there's gonna be a different tool for each thing. But this one right here, and no matter what you throw it at, it's going to blind it. You can see in the indoor footage, actually, when we pointed it directly at the camera, you can't really make out much of anything. You know there's a light pointed at you, but that's about it. You can see the little VTAC target. So, we cut everyone off a second ago because, you know, oh, sure, for sure, there's somebody that... Listen, this is the brand that the military uses. This is the brand that a lot of police use. Now, there are great brands out there, but this is the one brand of light that I have had purchased and gifted and buddy dealed all throughout because there's a lot of different things about Surefire that other companies don't do. Worth it. 
Is there more cost-effective options out there? Absolutely. Do I want to deal with a warranty ever on a flashlight? No. Fun little things to keep in mind about Surefire is the construction is pretty damn solid. I have no qualms at all about taking this and doing that and it being totally fine. I should go pick that up. Don't look at it. It still works. It still works and the anodizing is great. A little bit of chip and you know scratch, but all of them do. This is taking muzzle blasts. This is being pinned into barricades. This is getting knocked around in your trunk. This is just basically being hammered on. Can you get a more cost-effective light? Absolutely. Do you want to really realize that you need to call in the warranty when you need it most? Probably not. So, Surefire. Oh, fun factoid. This is actually glass, like legit sapphire glass. You can take a blade and scrape, scrape the carbon off of it. You can't do that with any other brands. I can assure you, you can go ahead and try it, be prepared to call in that warranty. And if it's made of plastic, you have your answer. I like the dual fuel technology because especially if you're maybe bought Chinese knockoff lights or you know even just the super lumen tactical flashlights you see ads for everywhere, or even vapors. Just keep stroking the wall, you'll be fine, okay. You know all about the 18650 and its capabilities and potential as well as reusability. The 18650 has a very long lifespan when it comes to recharge and it holds charge very, very well. So all in all, I think Surefire did really, really good on this light. I'm very excited to have one and just adding to the arsenal of lumens so I can have, what's that Shelly? All the lumens. So if you were looking at, you know, Lights. Hopefully this helped clear up, you know, kind of the differences between the three, but mostly the 600 DF, what its capabilities are and what you get for the same price point as 500 lumens, 1000 lumens or 1500 lumens. Any questions, comments, just want to talk about how much I look like Mark Wahlberg in the comments, leave them down below and say hi to your mother for me.